Located in the sprawling peri-urban capital city of Ghana, Accra, the Wisconsin International University College was established through the vision of two men to deliver market-oriented training to students that will enable them acquire relevant knowledge and skills to contribute to national development. Hello, my name is Bridget Boni. And I'm Olali Kabdu Kudus. I'm from Oshin State, Nigeria. And we are students of the prestigious Wisconsin International University College, Ghana. Today, we'll take an amazing tour in a bit to answer the question, why Wisconsin International University College, Ghana? Come along with us. From just nine students at its inception, the Wisconsin International University College has seen a steady rise in student population over the two decades to more than 4,000 by June 2019, pursuing various undergraduate courses in law, nursing, communication studies, business, computer science, and various programs under humanities and social science. The strategic vision as reflected in the uh, 2017 to 2021 strategic plan of the university is to be the first choice private university in Ghana and beyond with qualified and highly motivated staff. So briefly, we seek to emerge as the premier private university in the country and in the West African region. That is our vision. It's nothing we expected. Where it is now, from where we came, when it was just one building, and to where we are now. Being one of the first private universities in Ghana, Wisconsin has created a goodwill and reputation over the years. Today, alumni of Wisconsin are major contributors in diverse fields of Africa's workforce and have been recognized for their distinct training, passion, and excellence. Robert is among one of my most efficient and reliable engineers. Robert never takes a no for an answer. He's not the type when you are giving him a job, you say, boss, I can't do it. Even if it is new to him, you say, boss, I will try. And that determination, that ability, that can-do spirit is so much in Robert. And it's an encouraging thing for such a young man. I did a program, um, uh, Computer Science and Management. I have more of computer uh, programs and then a bit of management programs where I did marketing and uh, management and accounting and all those other programs. And it, it really helped. The university continues to fashion relevant programs to suit the needs and requirements of today's market force. In terms of admission, we go by admission policies. These policies have been agreed upon by the National Accreditation Board and also by our mentoring institutions. Our mentoring institutions are University of Ghana, University of Cape Coast, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, and University for Development Studies for our ESCB referee program. The admission policies that we, we have are approved by NAB and they are also approved by our mentoring institutions. The Wisconsin Business School is the largest school in the, in the university. We have about currently about 2,000 students and it has three departments. The Department for General Studies, Department of Banking, Accounting and Finance, the Department of HR and Marketing. At the end of every third year, we encourage students to go on attachments. And these attachment programs are supposed to help them have practical experience, that on, on the job experience before they complete their programs and go and look for jobs. In addition to its regular MBA programs at the postgraduate level, the university has introduced new and innovative programs such as MSc International Relations and Logistics and Supply Chain Management. Pearson offers an alternative route whereby people who have been in industry for so many years, they have the hands-on experience. They have seen all that it takes. But we also want a qualification, let's say an MBA or even a PhD. This Pearson program offers them that opportunity that they can enroll on this program 
Um, even without a first degree, you can enroll on this program. We are running it for 10 months. Uh, after 10 months, you get a certificate from Pearson from the UK. And this certificate entitles you to a lot of universities in the UK and also in other countries. With nursing as one of its flagship programs, the Wisconsin University has set itself apart from its competitors in the sub-region with investment in practical learning environment to offer the much-needed hands-on experience to its students. Obviously, there is no other simulation center here in Africa that can offer that. In the States, uh, this is very uh, comparable. Uh, to the same experience that our students in the States will experience over here. The nursing school has been in inception since May 2016. I think what sets us apart is the kind of environment in which the students have been trained, especially with in terms of skills training. Our skills labs are among the best in the country and in West Africa as a whole. As we speak, we have two skills labs for training on campus. We have about uh, 15 uh, cubicles or wards that are well equipped with ultra modern facilities. Everything trained in terms of nursing, midwifery, and community health is here. We just acquired two mannequins from the United States that can do a lot of the things that humans can do. They can breathe, you can feel their pores. The maternal one can give birth if it is programmed. It's like robotic. So students get hands-on skills here on campus before they are taken out to the real world for training. The Wisconsin International University Law School offers a three-year and four-year Bachelor of Laws program aimed at preparing students for a career in the legal field. With a well-stocked library and a variety of teaching methods, including the use of a moot court for court scene simulation, students of our law faculty are guaranteed enriched study experience to make them face the future and the real world with confidence. One of the things that sets Wisconsin apart is the fact that you get both theory and practicals. And that is exactly what graduates need in the real world. We offer very practical training for our students. For instance, we have a well-equipped broadcasting studio for training in sound and video production. I think as of now, our school is the only School of Communication Studies that produces a newspaper for the campus in which the school is located. I remember there was one time we had to, um, the first ever newsletter for Wisconsin, we, it was my team and I who put it together and we had a very limited time, we didn't wait to work overnight. I mean literally we did not sleep from morning till the following morning where we were actually having our first for the fourth matriculation ceremony. And we had it printed, we had it done. If you're pursuing a degree in IT, don't you think it'd be more nicer to sit in front of a computer and put your theory to practice? The Wisconsin, we started with a program that we call Computer Science and Management. That, I think, has been the main leverage we have had. We also have opened the complete BSc IT, where you take one or two of the accounting and those things, but it is a high-level IT program, that is 100% IT, where we give them uh, all the current courses in cloud computing, networking, and all that. And I would say that in a student who is aiming at going to university now, be it the government university, the private university, Wisconsin is uh, tops. The experience that I gained from, from school in terms of computer science, and it being a platform for me to be able to do whatever I want to do. That is what enabled me to get to where I am. We all know Wisconsin is a very small environment, but with a great number of countries present. I'm Malian by Nationalist. I'm from Guinea Conakry. From Ivory Coast. I come from Cameroon. I'm from Togo. We are one of the first universities to take up free processing of students' residence permits. And also, we also take up the cost of their non-citizen identification card. 
a lot of schools don't do that, but we take that up as as uh, bear that cost ourselves as a university. Also, we help them to orient themselves here in Ghana, especially the capital, Accra. We take them through uh, city tours, Accra city tours. And also, we also introduce them to the International Students Association here at Wisconsin. One of the things I'll forever miss about the BIEC, one of the great things here is the memories I keep with friends. The friends we make, the people we meet, the family we create, the games we play, and the life we live. The vibrant student life on campus has ensured that there are no dull moments. Every moment is worth living. Like the saying goes, memories don't live like people do. But those people here, these are my family. These memories will live longer than you think. We have in place something we call Dapaba Week for the freshers coming in. And during that period, there are a lot of activities that SRC organizes for them. Where we are right now, the Junior Kumar Room, probably called the JCR. This is where we allow the first years, or like I said, the juniors, come in to release stress over the week and also our lectures. In the JCR, we have the pool bar, we have the table tennis, we have the video games for FIFA lovers, and so on and so forth. The main idea is to also let you know that we don't kill your talent when you come to school. You have the opportunity to showcase what you have. Also, we have SRC week every semester. The whole week is given to the SRC to organize programs. Because we have hostels conveniently located in a friendly, safe and serene environment, you even get a free shuttle to campus. Because if you need support to study, our arms are widely open to you. We give scholarships and financial assistance. We encourage as many students as possible to come in and see us. We cover all areas, not just dealing with your fee payment plan, but we can also help you budget. We've been known to do that for our current students. Because our career centre equips you with soft skills and internship opportunities that get you employable even after school. Career services, um, first of all, help students with um, self-exploration. As a student, you come in with the hopes of getting an education um, to have a better life. So what career services does is they help you through the process of discovering who you are to better make um, decisions concerning your future in terms of your career. And if you want to manage your business after school, mm -hmm. Wisconsin is the best bet for entrepreneurship. We, we formed a company while I was in school <laughs> where we used to do events. At the time, the company's name was um, Cytex Media. And um, we had a lot of fun activities, pool parties, what not. And in a way, it helped throw a lot of light onto the brand, the name of the school. So people were getting to know Wisconsin University and I, I believe it really helped to, to groom me to, to get close to where I'm going. The new WIUC campus, located in the Ashanti Regional Capital, Kumasi, with its well laid out and serene campus, was established in January 2019 with the aim of catering for students from the northern half of the country, would no doubt mirror the successes of the main campus in churning out quality graduates who would ensure a more rapid development of their respective localities. Why Wisconsin? Because you transform your passion to a career. Because, because we are leaders in international, international education. education.